YouTube, welcome to another tutorial by Aaron here, uh, showing you how to install VMware ESXi. First thing you want to do is go to VMware.com and go for the vSphere hypervisor. That's the new name that they gave to it. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and download it. You're going to need an account, which is free to register for. If you've already got an account, click I have an account. If you don't, create an account now. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now you will be at the download center. On this page you're given a unique serial number as well as download links to these three tools. The ESXi ISO, which is what you install on the server, VMware Tools CD, and the vSphere Client, which is what you use to manage the server. Go ahead and download this ISO and the vSphere Client. And make note of your unique license key. You don't have to use mine. I'm going to use Image Burn to burn this. It's a free program and I recommend it. It's very easy to use. So once it opens up, you just hit click burn if you have a disk in the drive, which I don't. Once it's done burning, you're going to go ahead and put it, the CD into the machine that you're going to turn into a VMware server and here's the screens that you're going to see once you pop that into the server and boot it up from the CD. It'll sit here and load for a while. Went ahead and skip through most of that for you. Uh, we'll see this screen. Once again, skipping through most of this. And that little error was just saying that since I'm running it in a virtual machine, it's not, not going to have 64-bit virtualization. Anyway, it won't say that on yours if you're using a supported machine. Go ahead and agree to all the terms. Obviously you should go ahead and read all of them. Go ahead and uh, pick the hard drive that you're going to want to install it to. Your keyboard layout. And create a root password. This is what you're going to use to access the machine from another computer on your network. It'll go ahead and scan your system a few minutes and tell you to go ahead and confirm that you want to install it. Obviously you do. It'll sit there and install for several minutes and then you'll get to this screen it'll tell you, tell you to reboot. Go ahead and press enter, take the CD out, and then we'll get back to a screen that looks like this. And here's the, the only thing that you're going to see on the monitor of that server no matter what. You're going to want to go to that uh, HTTP address, the 192.160. It's obviously going to change for you. Uh, you can set it as a static IP, but for this purpose I'm not, since it's only a virtual machine on my end. Uh, go ahead and proceed to the site, and then this will have you download the vSphere client if you didn't download it before. Subscribe to my channel for uh, more technology how-tos, and uh, go ahead and click here to view part two, management using vSphere client.